Then just a couple years ago, they put him back in for two years for violating his parole and probation. I don't think a DUI or something like that. So if you read the story that goes along with this, you see all the public officials in Syracuse are making all the noises. Oh, we're not going to let old people be. No, we're not going to let people get attacked and killed. Not in our town, not on our watch. This is what they say all the time. They don't mean it. Syracuse is one of those cities where criminals are treated like victims and victims are treated like criminals. It's really not fair to ask the the son of this woman to get up there and, and, and talk about why this crime happened. The son, if he, unless he watches this channel, unless he reads all the things I've written about Syracuse, unless he's aware of all the denial that comes from the newspapers and TV in Syracuse and the public officials in Syracuse, there's no reason for him to know that black people are targeting old people, old women all across the country.